There are lots of new features in the new Goodyear Blimp. The old airship was built on 1930s technology, was redone in the 60s, but the new ship is more like an airplane. Flying experience in this airship versus the old one is almost 180 degrees out. The old one being old technology, force feedback controls, literally cables that go out to the fins. Where you have a wheel on the side, you have rudder pedals that you're pushing. Uh, to this one where it's almost like a big video game with the joystick controls, all electronic feedback. With the older ship, you have basically 20 people running at you trying to, to get the airship onto the ground and stabilize it. And they pull the airship into the wind so that it can get on the mast and, and sit there for the night. The older ships, they travel with 22 people. It's going to be five pilots and uh, 15 to 16 crew members. Now with the newer airship, we're going to be able to travel with a little bit less crew, probably around 14 or 15. We have five pilots on each operation, 15 pilots in the company. With those five pilots, only two can be in the airship. So the other three are monitoring weather, any sort of changes in weather, and anything that may pop up. In order to be a good blimp pilot, you have to have patience. Once you're in the air, you aren't going anywhere fast. We take off, we could be in the air from anywhere from six hours all the way to 14, 15 hours. The max endurance on this airship is 48 hours in the air. The blimps are certified to fly up to 10,000 feet, but generally we fly about 1,000 to 1,500 feet above the ground, depending on the operation. Speeds between 30 and 40 miles an hour. One of the things that's really unique to this airship is the truck and the connection point to the ground itself. The mass truck is the only thing that's uh, really attaching it to the ground. The really unique part about an airship versus a regular airplane, helicopter, or something else is that when it gets on the ground, it's still flying. And because of that, we have to be really careful how we treat it, even when it's hooked to the ground support equipment, because any kind of a wind shift or movement, that thing is going to want to move with the wind. Flying the blimp isn't really like flying any other aircraft. It's more like flying a boat, really. There's really no numbers that you fly like you would in an airplane or a helicopter. Weather conditions and, and wind and everything impacts the airship so much that you really have to literally feel each takeoff and each landing and actually fly the aircraft.